today I'm gonna compare two uh, variable ND filter. Uh, the one freeware two two five stop. Uh, I bought this. I think uh, I use this for two years now. And I recently bought the K and F. They have different like uh, intensity, like one from two to five and one from three to seven, three to eleven, and this one is says one to nine. Uh, they both come with a case. This one, I like the case design. I think it's easier to take out. It does not come with a cap. It's just uh, a filter. It has a knob to turn, and uh, it does not have a hard stop. And uh, you have to buy a, a bigger filter size lens cap. So this is 67. You need to buy a 72 lens cap. But I like this pouch. The freeware come with a hard case and oh, the good thing is it come with a magnetic uh, lens uh, filter cap. Hmm? That's that's good design. And uh, it has a hard stop at minimum. I think the minimum is more like uh, 1.5 stop because the two stop stop here, start here, and uh, the hard stop start here, and it goes to five stop. So, why I'm getting a new variable ND filter? This one actually is more expensive. Uh, how far we can go and uh, at the end I'm gonna tell you which one I will be using okay the first test is just uh, I'm gonna use uh, Sony 35 1.4 G Master so you will be see at f1.4 like uh, in a sunny day this, this is a really sunny day how many stop ND you need and if the five stop can get you around what's the exposure like this is S-Log3 base ISO 800 the, the shot speed 150 you can see even I crank the aperture to all the way F16 is still overexposed. Okay, let me put the freeware 22F stop first. Oh, I'm gonna change the auto web balance to to daylight, so there's no the white balance auto correction. So you will see if the two lens produce different tint or not. Okay, I have the freeware two to five stop screw on the lens now. I think right now it's at the minimum strength. I'm gonna go all the way to five stop. Okay, at f1.4, definitely not enough. Let's see at what stop, f stop, it can expose correctly. F2, F2, 8. Pretty much like F5. 
if you see at 4.5 now still the the sky is blow out at 5 we'll just call it at 5.6 is the best exposure okay let's see go all the way down to f1.4 uh, this one does not have hard stop so it can spin freely 360 degree so you just have to guess what stop you are at by looking at the monitor okay I'm guess this is uh, one stop let's move Oh, you can see, now I have a good exposure, even at 1.4. But if I keep going, now I just turn a little bit more and now it's, the edge is showing, being showing the dark, darking edge. So technically you can go darker, but uh, then it is showing this x, x, x cross factor. This is maybe one stop, and let's go. Okay, at this point uh, we got a correct exposure, but I can clearly see on my back screen there's very heavy darkening on the edge. So not useful for 1.4 you can keep going and darker darker and you gonna see the x crossing pattern but even before this happening right here because let's make it a good exposure at here you can see the darkening on the edge So, well, it's, it's got no darkening at this point. There's no darkening. Let's see what F stop we can get. F 2.8. Okay. So, I think this lens is more, uh, this filter is more like 1 to 7 stop. 1 to 7 stop. Because now there's no, no darkening. Yeah. And this is a very bright sunny sunny day sky. F two point eight. You can get a good exposure. 